Hey guys, welcome back. It's Gun Deity, and we are going to keep covering SHOT Show firearms. This week, Palmetto State Armory introduces a plethora of firearms. Everything from guns that are coming now to guns that may be coming in the future. So stay tuned, and like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. All right, guys, we got a lot of stuff to cover today, so I'm going to try to keep it as short and simple as possible, but uh, this is going to be a video mainly focused around Palmetto State Armory. Now, Palmetto State Armory offered a bunch of new guns out there. Most of them were concept guns, but they stated that they are going to be producing all of those firearms. It's just a matter of when will they release them, and we got to vote on which ones we wanted first. But let's cover the guns that are definitely coming first. First and foremost, everyone knows Palmetto State Armory for the Dagger lineup. Uh, that's kind of where Palmetto State Armory really came to the mainstream. Before that, they were AR company, and most people didn't really care to even look into Palmetto State Armory. I mean, I did. I had a Palmetto State, a couple of Palmetto State Armory ARs, and so I was a big fan when they introduced the Dagger. I was, I'm a Glock fanboy, so. Generation 3 Glock clone, got to go down that path. Well, Palmetto State Armory introduced the uh, dagger a few years back, and that one blew up. And then uh, this year, they dropped the da the micro dagger, which is a uh, basically a Glock 43X48 clone. And it's taking off really well, too. At SHOT Show, they introduced some new variants of the dagger. And these are part of the Sabre lineup. And the, so in the Sabre lineup, they are doing the micro carry and they're doing the dagger, the standard dagger. What's really cool about these guys is they have a laser stippled grip, which is really nice. Uh, and you can, guys can kind of see that. It's beautiful going across the, the top of the frame and along the grip there. Beautifully laser stippled. They are uh, running a whole new lineup of slides and barrels for these guys that are all going to be optics cut straight from the factory. They also are introducing a new five round mag extension for their standard 15 round magazine capacity or 17 round magazine capacity. Now it gets go bumped up. I don't know yet if the micro dagger is getting a uh, mag extension, but I would assume so. They also come with a trigger which this trigger is straight up just beautiful. This trigger is amazing. It's a flat face, you know, kind of like if you smacked your face into a wall. <laughs> yeah, that's what this trigger looks like. But it's a great little uh, trigger and has a phenomenal break from the factory from what I got to play with at SHOT Show. Now, I did hear that they are going to be shooting for quarter two or maybe quarter three, which will put it around summer of 2024, is when we're going to see those daggers come out, those saber daggers and micro daggers. One thing I will say is Palmetto State Armory has a tendency to introduce a gun and take a long time to come out. I mean, <laughs> the dagger is one of those things. When they introduced the dagger, it took like two years for it to actually drop. So we'll see when these saber daggers come out. One of those guns that took forever to come out is a gun that was introduced last year. And that's the Switch, which is kind of cool because why it's called a Switch is everything's modular on it. It's actually used as a trigger pack that is the serialized portion of the firearm. Uh, so the frames and all the extra parts can be shipped straight to your door. Only the serialized trigger pack is actually the firearm. Kind of like SIG, but hopefully this one won't go off just from hitting the ground. What's cool about this modular chassis system is it will accept Gen 3 trigger parts, which means you can put your favorite Glock trigger right onto this modular system. You don't have to order an entire modular system, kind of like SIG. If you want an upgraded trigger, you need to order an entire modular system. And they're expensive. What's really neat is that this it will accept all Gen 3 slides, barrels, and recoil springs. So, if you have a favorite 
Gen 3 part or you want to use one of the other dagger parts, it'll go right on there. Now this modular chassis system looks to be an aluminum chassis system with uh, interchangeable grip panels. So this thing's just as customizable as your hot rod sitting in the backyard. I mean, you, uh, this is literally grown up Legos. All right, so we kind of covered all the uh, guns that are actually coming to the market. Now we're gonna get into guns that they call concept guns. Now they're calling them concept guns because they aren't actually on going to be on the market just yet. But just like PSA always does, is they introduce these concepts and if people like them, they're going to produce them quickly. All of these guns that they introduced as concepts are going to be made, but it's a matter of which ones they're gonna focus on first. First one I saw on the list was the Thumper. Yeah, Palmetto State Armory Thumper. Just in case that Call of Duty fanboy comes out and you wanna you know, throw a grenade launcher on your, your firearm, they got you covered. Now this is not a grenade launcher, it is a flare launcher, 37 millimeter. Now this thing will come as a, a weapon mount or a chassis system to mount directly uh, to a stock and, and setup. Now these are flare launchers, so you will not have to go through a, a licensed FFL dealer. These can be shipped directly to your door. Granted, I don't know how Palmetto State Armory will do it. We'll have to see what they do, but uh, it's a flare launcher, which means you can shoot flares, you can shoot uh, uh, bangers, you can shoot, um, they have all kinds of stuff. Really cool uh, concept, and you can mount it directly underneath your gun or shoulder it yourself, whichever one you like. Next one, this is the one I'm most excited for, and this is the Jackal 9. This is Palmetto State Armory's uh, version of a SBR style PCC. This is a direct blowback setup and it is running a monolithic upper, which means uh, it's it's a one solid piece upper, kind of like your MP5s. Um, now it come, it's going to be coming in a four inch and an eight inch model and it's going to have a non-reciprocating charging handle. Me personally, that's a big deal because I like to C-clamp and you can't C-clamp if it's got a reciprocating charging handle. You're going to lose your thumb. Well, hurt your thumb. <laughs> this, this gun is a concept for sure, but it's definitely one of the ones that caught my attention the most. And definitely something that I think they should definitely produce. The next one that I saw there that caught my attention was the Dagger 22. That's right. 22 caliber dagger. And unlike Glock, they're not making the mistake of introducing it with a 10 round magazine. I mean, it's going to come with a 15 round magazine straight from the factory. So you're going to get true compatibility to your nine millimeter for a true training pistol. Now it is using a dagger compact frame. So it's pretty much the whole lower is just like in the Glock 44 representing just like the previous gun. I'm pretty sure the dagger 22 is going to be the next one on the board because all they have to do is design the barrel and the slide. Everything else is already done for them. The one that I saw at SHOT Show this year and what I believe they're going to introduce it with is cut for an RMSC, which means it you don't have to mess with optics plates or anything like that. RMSC pattern is already a popular R, uh, optics plate for those micro carries, so might as well just go get one that fits your gun. All right, guys, moving on to the heavy hitters. Now, this guy is the 45 ACP Tactical. It basically looks like a Palmetto State Armory got some of its uh, grips shaved down and they bumped up the caliber. Now it's going to be running a 16 round magazine. It's going to have the option of whether you want it threaded or not and whether you want it optics cut or not. Other than that, I don't know much more about it. I tried to do some more research and they really haven't released more information. So chances are this is on the back burner of the list of guns that they introduced. Next one is going to be the Emerge Bolt Gun. Now this is a build your own bolt action rifle. So it's going to come with options of 18 inches or 22 inches. It's going to come in the calibers of 308 or 65 Creedmoor. And you can get it ordered as a complete rifle or you can build it yourself at home. 
I'm not sure exactly what the chassis system is compatible with yet. I'll do some research. If I find out, I'll post it in the description below here. But it's definitely co pretty cool. And, you know, if they do produce this guy soon, I think it'll be a hot ticket item because... A lot of people like to build their own bolt action rifles. Now, the one that kind of took over the show at SHOT Show, which everybody, including Garand Thumb, looked at, was the X57. Now, this guy is a PDW style uh, pistol chambered in 57 by 28 Now, it's using 40 round mags. I'm not sure if it's the PSA rock compatible. I'll have to look and I'll let you know in the description below. It's gonna have a Radian Raptor charging handle and a collapsible brace, pending on whether this brace ruling goes the way we all think it's going to go, or if they have to remove that. But definitely cool. It's like an MP7 that we can actually buy here in the States. So, huh, I mean, HK, step up your game, or PSA will take it over. All right, the very last item that I saw that caught my attention, uh, so many caught my attention, but the last one that I liked... Uh, would be the 570 shotgun. It is a pump action shotgun that is running, uh, that's a build your own shotgun. I mean, come on, build your own shotgun? Who doesn't want to do that? They say that all the parts would be really easy to change and swap out. So that's going to be really cool. What's really cool about it is it's a 12 gauge pump action shotgun. It, uh, it will be sold as a receiver, barrel, and mag tube. You can order those separately or all put together as a put-together shotgun and then you can customize it how you want. It will be cut for an RMR straight from the factory. So those boys who like to put red dots on their shotguns, you're covered. I mean, come on. And then, last but not least, it is, eight, it is an 870 clone-ish which means all the furniture is interchangeable with Remington 870. A very popular shotgun brand, and it's very smart on them to do that. Granted, I would have preferred uh, Mossberg 500, but it makes sense to go with 870. But guys, with the huge amount of guns that are out there, that we're at SHOT Show, I wanna make a few more videos uh, on this, and I'm gonna try to cover as many as I can. Next video, I'm gonna try to cover what I saw at Bear Creek Arsenal and a few other uh, distributors out there too. So definitely let me know what you guys wanna see. Hit a like in this button if you wanna see more, and subscribe. We're gonna try to hit that 5,000 mark so we can get a media pass next year, and you guys won't have to look at my face so much. Guys, I really want to make this happen, so definitely share this, like it, and comment, because it blows up the algorithm and uh, works in our favor to where we can get 5,000 subscribers for next year. Guys, this is Gun Deity, and I'll see you for the next one. I got a god complex. Hey, this up the hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, and like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. They call me a